Today's STEM quick win is called Paper Chain. We're going to be constructing a paper chain out of only one piece of paper and seeing how long we can make it. Let's join a STEM kit and get started. STEM Quick Wins video with Cami and London. And today we are going to be trying to make a paper chain with just one sheet of paper. Our current record right now is three feet long. This is our current record. And we're going to see who can make the longest chain. The first thing you'll need to do is take your scissors and cut however thin or thick you want your strips to be. So now we are going to take one strip and we are just going to make a loop using it with a piece of tape like this. Now that you have your one starting loop, you're gonna take another piece of paper and make another loop to add to the chain and take another piece of tape so now it will look like this. You're just gonna keep repeating the process until you run out of strips. Let's see how long you can make it. Now we're going to finish our paper chain. It is about 11 feet long with both of ours connected together. Now let's see what the 3 feet long one is. With one sheet of paper, each of the pink and yellows are just one sheet of paper. It's about only half. So, I hope you enjoyed today's Sam Cook wins. And we'd love to see your creations of your long chains. Bye! <laughs> A chain is a connected, flexible series of links, like the loops of paper we make, can be found all around us. Think about where you've seen chains around you. Chains can also be used to model how energy flows in an ecosystem. These chains are called food chains. As an extension, try using different types of paper to make the chain, or you can even write the names of plants and animals on the links to show how energy flows from one organism to another in an ecosystem. Great job creating today! Snapper, I should bring my snapper from home. Snapper. Snapper. Yeah. 